people of Consti Beauty. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Consti Beauty and on this channel we do skincare, we do hair care and we do lifestyle. So today I'm doing a part two of our video about the scammer lady. Remember I told you to share this video. So if you're passing by this channel for your first time, thank you very much for choosing our channel channel and please you are welcome to make uh, to form part of this family join us in this family here we have a lot of things to learn together and if you have any question or recommendations please do feel free to write on the comment section also remember to like our videos and share to as many contacts of yours as possible so i was talking about this lady who wanted to scam us and got to god be the glory we were able to to navigate through and we were not scammed all right so if you haven't watched the first part of this video please i'm going to put a link here so you can watch how it happened how we, we got in contact with this lady and then we found ourselves here so the second part is just about now the documents are with her in Canada, as she claims, because after everything, I'm still wondering if this lady is in Canada. And if she is in Canada, then why would she be trying to scam poor uh, people who are back home? Because actually, this is one, t one aspect that also made me to be worried because when she was, uh, she, we gave her the documents, you know, we had other friends who were interested. And she was like, no, we don't want too many people because the spaces are, are small. So those that are available will just do it right now. And I was like, okay, no problem. Then I asked her, when, uh, when, wh what other time would this opportunity come up again? And she told me that it's only next year, next year that this opportunity is going to come up again. So I was like, okay, no problem. Because I had other friends, other people who wanted to, to do the same line. All right. So now she did the document as she claimed. The documents are with her in Canada. And she sent us this document. Honestly speaking, I was very, very happy. But after reasoning, and then I was, my twin sister told me, please contact your, your friend, your classmate who is in Canada. Just give him this document. Let him also look at it. And let's see. Because we cannot just go into things like this without contacting of course we have people who are in canada so we should also contact them so we we're fortunate that we have some friends and others that we could question or ask them or give them and ask for their advice on this particular topic so excuse me guys so when these documents i i i gave them to my to my husband he looked at it and he was like he's not very sure about about this kind of offer like how can we apply documents and just within weeks the documents are out i know that even here in china it's very difficult especially when it comes to work documents so guys please be very careful there are scammers as i speak she's still advertising like she's still advertising i see her advertising this is somebody who claimed that um it's next year that this program is going to end and she is still advertising now like i speak many 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 other uh, ad adverts are there that she has already put like she's expecting people to apply so what happened about the next year that she was talking about because of course the time the same time that we apply is not yet it's still like already a year like about eight months remaining so she's already asking people this is a scam my people this is a scam please stay away from these things now let me get fast because i don't want us to have a part three of this um this uh, scammer guy or girl or people so when she sent that document and i tried to she was like they needed a medical certificate this is where our biggest problem started they needed a medical certificate and that uh she want to refer us to a hospital in douala i said okay I'm going to search online to find out where they can do this particular medical because there are medicals that we have to do for different purposes 
and these hospitals are everywhere online guys make use of your your phones make use of your social media when people tell you i want to direct you to this place to do this thing try to do your own research because when she told me about this hospital in Douala, I told her, okay, no problem. Since I am in China and I know very well that when you are going to travel, this medical is part of the documents that are required, but I don't know for Canada. So that was the reason why I needed to ask my friend also, you know. So I told her, I am in China. Why would I have to do medicals in Cameroon? She said, if I don't want to follow what she's saying, I should know that I will not be selected. I said, but it's because definitely, even when I'm going to do the visa or I'm going to apply for the visa, they will also know that I am in Canada because I'm, I'm sorry, I am in China because definitely I'm going to be applying from here and not back home. So why would I have to use a hospital back home? This is already going to bring a conflict in the document. She was like, I'm telling you something that I've been doing. Many people have been coming here to Canada. So you have to do what I'm trying to say. I said, okay, no problem. We are going to do as you say, but I wasn't really confident of this decision. So she said she's going to refer us to a doctor who works at that hospital. So we don't need to go to the hospital ourselves. We will just send the money to the doctor. Please, my people, listen. These are the simple things because sometimes we... we we are so like we want to do things we don't want people to know that we are doing things we get into we get ourselves into this kind of cheap scams because this is kind of cheap scam as i can call it she said she would direct us to a doctor who is working at that hospital and that the doctor is going to take less than that money because when i check online i saw the amount of money that it's also going to cost to do that medical so she said it's about 100 and um 160,000 but that when we go to this doctor that she's saying we are going to pay like 130,000 so we are going to have a discount of about 30,000 and i told my sister my sister was like she is a nurse it's not possible that a, an international medical like this can be done behind the doors so she would prefer that we send people to the hospital to do this medical and pay the 170,000 cash rather than paying through some person they call is a doctor she said this doctor works at that hospital and that that doctor has some number of people that he can take and do um this medicals like that i said okay so can i have the doctor's number she gave me the doctor's number which i'm also going to add in our proofs because i know after this some of them will come and be making noise and saying all sorts of things so when she gave the doctor's number i added him and listen hello he called me he was the one that called i was like ah what kind of doctor is this i'm the one that need your service you're calling me like you're hor you're hushing me like do fast do fast do fast so i was like questioning these people again he said i should this one is a young boy and he was kind of trying to you know speak like an american um i am doctor they said that that and i work at the hospital in Douala, and i have those two days that i work here so you need to do fast and send the money so that i can i can um do the the the, the medicals for you and send so i was like okay 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 but now i don't have money i needed some time to get the money he was like you don't have we don't have the time because if you don't do it today or tomorrow uh, I, i'll be going to Douala. i will i'll be going to the poor because i also work at the poor so i won't be on seat i said but if there is another doctor i can use the doctor no problem he said no you must send the money to me so that i can do it i don't have time if not it's only next week i said okay no problem therefore next week we can do it because presently i do not have the money handy and he, he gave me a number for the Momo transfer. And then when I collected the money, and I collected the number, and I talked with my friend, and my friend told me, please, 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 these people are fake. These people are fake. So I'm trying to advise you guys out there that there are lots of fake people. Be very careful how you transfer money to people. No matter how they say this is a genuine line, please, I would prefer you to go to the hospital, 
find out this person this particular person for yourself before you do any monetary transaction there is there is a lot of hardship back home and please we shouldn't fall for uh, fall victims to such things and lost money that we could use to help our families back home so this is how it happened and and when my friend asked me to stop i just decided to stop and to watch and you know what when the doctor stayed and never saw the money he started calling me and calling me and calling me i told him to go ahead and do the document how do you do medicals without the people present and you say this is an international medical to travel to canada this is a big lie people this is a big lie do not fall for such cheap scams these are scammers these are scammers i'm going to put their documents here these are scammers don't send your money to them because i know they are going to change their numbers change their names change their profile pictures i wonder if the profile pictures they are using are actually the the, the, the said people so be very careful and be warned share this video share this video my people share this video it can save someone some some families somewhere because this money is not small money that one can just stay and and, and lose in in a day like she told me that um she started this document by is it no uh, october or is it september and she claimed that by october or the latest this uh, november december we are supposed to be in canada i was like how short time the time is very short and given the COVID period that we are in it's very very difficult for us to to be this fast and that was one of the reasons that i was like suspecting this girl so when i didn't send the money she, she for the medicals and i told them to do the medicals and keep and that i will send the money then they will forward the document but when i spoke to my friend my friend told me this medicals even it goes directly to the immigration system there's no medical that are supposed to give it to you so people don't fall victim for for this kind of people please i'm begging you please if you see anybody on my my facebook and they're trying to do business with you please if you don't trust them or don't even trust them get to me to be sure of this person if it's quite close to me because i am a business person i've added so many people to my to my facebook so there are many people i don't even know them but you'll notice that they are friends with me on facebook i'm using this opportunity to beg on you to be warned do not talk with people because you see that i am a friend with them on facebook okay and so when this girl noticed that i didn't send the money she got so furious and she started sending me messages and warning me and talking to me if you don't send a message i'm not going to beg you anymore i'm not going to do any document again it's all your it's all your fault i told you to to do this there's no time and you know those kind of complaints and i didn't re reply to them i really didn't reply to them <coughs> excuse me sorry so guys this is where i want to end this video for this for this karma of people please be careful and protect your money thank you guys for watching this video to this end my name is Consti beauty and we have a channel on youtube we are also having a page on facebook please follow us on youtube and on facebook and send your comments whatever content you want us to produce please do feel free to send your you know to write your comments thanks very much for watching and bye-bye see you i love you happy new year